How about some soccer? We're ready for soccer. It's getting warm out. You could have played some games today, right, Dave? You know, for sure, for sure, yeah. <laughs> you never you never know in October if you can play some games. You play them, but it might be snowing or who knows. Yep, yeah, get all kinds of weather then, too. <laughs> you certainly so. do. We have Dave Webb with us, a longtime official, Michael Laws. And how about down at the end, Cameron Wallace. And Cameron, let's start with you. You pointed your badge. You've been reffing for two years, 16 years of age. What got you into it? Uh, mainly just to understand the rules and help kids know the rules of refing. Now at the youth level, what's it like with the parents? H how's it go? Can you hear uh, them on the sideline or can you tune them out? I usually just try to ignore them. Okay. I don't really understand what they say because they don't know the rules. Okay. And I just try to pay attention to the kids. I don't know the rules either, but I'm not <laughs> yelling at you. Don't worry about that. What is it like seeing these, these little kids, you know, learn soccer and, and get to play it? I'm sure you did it as well as a kid. Yeah. Um, as I was growing up, I always wanted to be a soccer ref, know, try to know the rules more and understand what they call out there. And you play as well. Does that help your game? Yes, because that way if I get a foul called on me, I always know what I get called for. Or if my teammates get a foul called on me, on them, I could also know what they get called for. Dave Webb, how long have you been in the game? Uh, this is my 19th year, okay. Andy. So, yeah, both uh, USSF and also high school official also. I, yeah. I love seeing the officials. Uh, we, I get to watch high school games more. But seeing them explain things to the players, you're you're trying to explain the rules as you're as you're refing. Uh, that's very true. Yes, uh, especially in the in the youth and even those that are in high school uh, age also, um, because they don't understand what you call. Yeah. So you have to kind of explain some some things sometimes like that to help them to understand what you what you've done. Of course, most of those officials. They see our kids, they, they see you, and they've seen me all over the years. Same yeah. thing with Michael. Yeah. And they get to know you yeah. and know what you call. So. <laughs> they know how you call the so, game. Yeah. Well, big training coming up at the Bath Community Center. Uh, we'll talk about the USF training first that comes up on the 24th of February. Yeah, uh, that's an entry-level class. Uh, so those that are 14 years of age or will be 14 that this year, uh, can take that class and get the entry level. We started them out at grade eight. Okay. Uh, eventually after that, as they get more games and stuff like that, they can go to a grade seven and, and above. So as, as time goes on, but yeah, entry level is, is, is getting you started. Yeah. Um, and uh, those that like soccer, play soccer, um, parents, students, uh, doesn't matter, players. Yeah. Yeah, just learn the game, so. Is there a cost to the training? Yes, there is a cost to okay. it, and uh, I believe it's uh, seventy dollars, if my it's memory serves me right. It's seventy dollars uh, to get started, but you can make it back yeah. real quick with the games that you do. Sure, sure. sure. Yeah, so you know, in a matter of of uh, probably four or five games, they'd probably have that back. Gotcha. And and from there, um, you go on. And you keep, <laughs> it's great for kids to um, still be in touch with the game, mm. um, as Cameron said, to uh, also understand the game better because you do as a, an as official yeah. um, and also kids get to put it back uh, put some money in the bank so yeah that's a nice thing Michael you've been doing how many years now for soccer uh, this is my 26th season okay actually so yeah I've done uh, OHSA for 24 and then just actually retired from college after 20 years okay. so I just I finished up with that and I've done USSF as the same at about the same time so is there a level you prefer working with uh i the college game is always the the players are always um little you know just love the pace of the game okay. for me yeah. yeah um ohsa is very much about uh teaching the kids it's you know it's an interscholastic sport you want to teach them a lot sure um ussf is more about skill development because usually they're starting off the players are starting off and they're you know you want to get them get them used to it but uh you know i like it from a personal standpoint i've always liked the college game just because it's faster and sure. you know everybody everybody's into it but uh i i i, I respect all of them and yeah. I, I just i love i just love the game so i like being around it what so. made you retire from the college game uh life <laughs> to be honest <laughs> you're uh, a hockey coach you yeah i'm a hockey league. coach <laughs> i do all kinds of stuff <laughs> i got three kids at home right as as you do as well so you know you got kids at home too so yeah. it, it it just it's tough to kind of manage it all and um you have uh, some commitments with mm -hmm. with college officiating where you have to attend 
uh, meetings and physical stuff and things like that. And you just, it's just tough to keep up with, with okay. life and things like that. So, um, but I still know, you know, still know people around the game and I'm still in touch with the game and still in touch with those guys. So I believe the first time we talked was at Bell Fountain. That's correct. You're like, I'm a Mary local guy repping <laughs> soccer. And I was like, how does this work? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I transferred into the area. I, um, I, um, I'm originally from Illinois, and yeah. and and actually married, and met uh, went to college at Bowling Green, and met a gal from um, Maria Stein, and sure. she wanted to move home. So yeah. you know, you you know when you deal with your wife, you always compromise, and you do what they do. So there you go. <laughs> do what they want to do. So <laughs> she still lets you ref soccer. <laughs> <laughs> still let me ref soccer, exactly. So. OHSA class, a little bit different. Yes, what we uh, basically what you do is you, once you get done with the entry level class with okay. with uh, what Dave is doing, um, I will be um, uh, heading up a um, what we call a bridge class, which is basically you know the USSF basics of what US what you'll learn here on the twenty fourth. Uh, we do an OHSA bridge class um, March fifth and eighth, and we're going to be holding that at Rhodes State okay. College. Um, at one of the classrooms, they're always very nice, uh, helping us out with their facility. So, and basically, what we talk about is the differences. Okay. Basically, mm -hmm. um, the only thing that you really need is you got to have Dave's class to enter mine, and then just be over the age of 18. Gotcha. That's the only difference that, um, you know, if you're old, and, you know, over the age of 18 and completed Dave's class, I'd love to have you because we definitely have a need in this yeah, area. Do. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's been. You know, we've got guys retiring, and we're just not bringing that up. So we're just we're really trying to, you know, shake the bushes and try to get anybody yeah. that would be willing to do it. So yeah. that's what we're looking for. So Cameron, what would you say to someone watching? Why should they ref soccer? Uh, if you love the game, uh, if you want to know the rules better, go out and have fun. There you go. There you go. And don't hassle these guys. <laughs> Good guys. And they're here to help our soccer players. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. If Appreciate you it. More Thanks, Andy. Thanks, if you didn't Andy. catch that, February 24th, mm -hmm. is that yes, right? That's yep. correct. And yep. then the March classes as well. Uh, you can contact us at the station. Yep, and we also, our website's wasoa.org if you can check us out on the web. Okay, there well. you go. All right, thanks, guys. Up next, we've got the